Hollywood, Silicon Valley, amazing beaches, surfing culture, and the Yosemite National Park. California is huge, and there's plenty of things to see and do. So you know what that means? That they've got massive trees. <sighs> no, I was saying there's certainly things that you should not do there, and we're gonna take a look straight at it. drive in the rain because the rubber from the car tires ends up getting on the tarmac and it builds up and builds up and builds up and when you put a tiny bit of water on it it gets super slippy like fairy liquid you're right that's correct number one don't drive in the rain for those reasons oh everything you just said but let me add to it if you have to drive wear a clean the road first clean the road first so pre-clean the road but strap a, a broom to the front of your car or just drive around in one of those trucks with the brushes road clean road clear. Road sweep. if you have to drive wait until it rains enough to wash away this greasy layer or even better wait till it stops raining because for some strange reason no matter what country you're in when it starts to rain all the idiot drivers get into their they cars do. It, yeah, it, so, yeah it just seem like every idiot and their brother is on the road when it's raining also california is famous for carmageddon and you don't want to be caught in the carmageddon but it's not just loads of cars that's not very nice i'm doing all the sound effects that's... well done what do you do every time you go on holiday every single <coughs> thing every time you go on holiday i'm sick of having to tell you this next number two when i get there i'm usually thirsty so a big glass of tap water no don't drink the tap water we say this every single time don't drink the tap water your body isn't accustomed to all the little bacterios in the water stream but if i travel and drink the water always, okay, I'll so be that... invincible. You can drink toilet water. I have drunk toilet water. <laughs> oh my word! We do not recommend drinking toilet water, it is very, very dangerous. What's your favourite chain, fast food chain? Oh, McDonald's, Big Mac, Burger King. Oh, dear, dear. What about in and out You've never had one because you've never been to California, am I right? I uh, went in my mind. I bet you've drunk California water and you I have drank been. California wine. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, don't diss in and out. We're not saying this. This is coming from stuff that you're finding on the internet right now. Internet.com says the fast food chain in and out started in California over 70 years ago until and for fairly recently was exclusive to the state, making it somewhat of an institution. Okay. Is that really a website? Internet.com? .com.org. Oh. On the face of it, it may seem like just another burger joint offering the same old products cooked in the same old way with very few options than its competitors, but it's probably best not to say that whilst you're in California. They Flippin' love the stuff. Okay, good to know before you go. Well, things aren't always what they seem. The in and out has, according to internet.com.org, you know, who knows? Good. in and out actually has a secret menu. A burger. Yeah, would you want cheese with that? Can I have a burger burger? Oh, wait, a burger burger? Yes, a burger burger. Oh. I got you. Burgers with lettuce for buns, burgers with four patties and four times the cheese, chili burgers, animal style fries, and mustard grilled patties. Not only is their menu more interesting than their rivals, but their burgers are larger, tastier, fresher, and cheaper than most. Well, having not eaten there, it certainly does sound very nice. So, you prefer it to McDonald's? Yes, now? I do. I f in and out. Number four, don't rely on it being warm. So oh. you were going to go there just in your t-shirt, I know this. I was going to go there just in my t-shirt and my thongs. As we said before, California is huge, so big in fact that it doesn't have the same climate everywhere within the state. So while places like LA may have Mediterranean climate, the Mojave Desert and Death Valley have a desert-like climate. And further north in South Lake Tahoe, the temperature can drop to minus 10 degrees C in winter and in summer never rise above 30 degrees C. All right. So basically there's lots of different variations of the weather in a state. Culture! That's why Louis, good old Louis said, down down a Frisco Bay. 
because he wrote Doc, Otis Redding. Otis Louis Armstrong. Otis uh, Redding. And Louis Armstrong. I think they did it together. Did they? I think so. Rip. Someone fact check that, please. No! <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I was wrong. Yes, it, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay was actually written in California. Oh, yay. Yeah. Number five, don't support the wrong teams. In Spain, walking around Barcelona wearing a Real Madrid shirt will probably get you into a bit of trouble. This is something that seems to happen almost everywhere all over the world, as you would expect. You just have to make sure you wear the right team so that you're not bandying about a different team that isn't Californian and the locals will go, oh, you, you, that's not Californian. You can only wear Californian stuff in California. It's a bit of a weak point, really. Yeah, where did you get this information from? Internet.com.org If you're planning on visiting Oracle Park or watching a San Francisco Giants game, you'll know it's best not to do it in a Dodgers shirt. Well, so it's only specific to if you're actually going to go <coughs> to well, a game. Right. Kind of obvious. Don't walk through some fire, because you'll get burnt. Well, uh, don't go up to football players in the opposite team shirt. Don't stand on the Hollywood stars or you'll get arrested or something. Yes, well, they, a lot of them are false, okay? Do you get arrested if you stand? No, you don't get arrested. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. Of course you don't. You can stand all over the street. Just don't jaywalk. Okay. Number six, don't think California is just LA and San Francisco. A thing you need to know about Cali is that it's not just made up of LA and Frisco as we see in the movies. Also never call California Cali or Frisco or San Fran. I call it Cali Frisco. California has national parks, beaches, vineyards, snow-capped mountains, deserts and redwood forests. Don't just limit your stay to the typical major cities or you'll be missing out on all the genuine California things! Very, very nice. Oh, maybe I'll go there one day. I've been to New York. Oh, well that's the same then. Don't compare California to New York! We did in our last video. Check out below our comparison of New York versus California. Which one is better? What? New York. <clears throat> uh, you so... can't say. <laughs> I don't know, I've never been to California. So. so obviously for you, New York is better then? At the moment, maybe. I don't know. I need to watch more videos to find a fair judgement. Let us know in the comments what you think. How is it? It's exquisite. <laughs> <laughs> it's a state. It in a That was really Number six! <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to debunk it! <laughs> Football thugs with the opposite teams challenging. How do you talk football? <laughs> I, don't know. <clears throat> I don't know how to talk football. Do you know of anything else to avoid in California? Let us know in the comments below.